Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Musu. Today we will talk about a topic requirement traceability matrix. <coughs> Friend, uh, this is a very important topic and uh, we will discuss this topic in detail with respect to the definition of uh, uh, PMI or PIMBOC, uh, Project Management Body of Knowledge. So, uh, uh, friend, this topic pertains to project management and uh, we will see in a very easy to understand manner that what is requirement traceability matrix and uh, what is the purpose of making requirement traceability matrix and uh, what uh, what uh, the what is the value of this topic in project management. Friend, let me tell you that uh, that that this topic is very important in uh, w with respect to the concepts of project management and uh, the purpose of making this video is that uh, this is a very common concept a uh, very important concept of uh, uh, requirement traceability matrix in project management and uh, if any student <coughs> who is uh, studying project management in university or uh, you are a student uh, you are a, you want to give an exam of a PMP <coughs> So I want to make a very simple video so everyone can understand the concept of requirement traceability matrix in a very easy to understand manner and this can be helpful for you in your life in your studies uh, whether you are uh, going to give an exam in university for project management or you want to give an exam of PMP so this uh, video can be very helpful for you. <coughs> Remember one thing friend that this topic is so much important that in the PMP exam you must see at least three to four questions related to requirement traceability matrix. So this is very important also if you are a professional and uh, you are a project already a project manager and working as a professional in some organization. So you must see the uh, you must will you must see the topic you must understand the topic requirement traceability matrix this so that this can be helpful for you in your professional life so let's start uh, uh, first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that you can so that my new videos can reach to you <coughs> so let's start requirement traceability matrix the requirement traceability matrix is a tool to help ensure that project scope requirement and deliverable remain as is when compared to the baseline again uh, try to read it again that uh, requirement traceability matrix is a tool to help ensure that the project scope requirements and deliverables remain as is when compared to the baseline when a uh, requirement traceability matrix you can just imagine it as a some sort of excel sheet in which you maintain the uh, deliverables in a excel sheet in which you have to make sure that uh, the deliverables are will remain same as is as compared to the baseline friend what is baseline what is baseline in your concept friend baseline is a uh, uh, baseline whenever we start a project we set a baseline of a project baseline means that the uh, the measures the uh, baseline through which we can measure the performance of a project for example if you say if you say at the initial level at the earlier stage of project the project when a project signed we decide that we have to give the for example five modules to customer so this is our uh, baseline which has been set that we have to give five uh, five uh, five modules to customer at the at some later stage for example at the time of execution customer says that it is the uh, it is the for example we need six modules uh, uh, we need one more module so this is as compared to the baseline this is a change th as for the scope this is a change we have to request a we have to sign a uh, CR or change request in this case so friend a requirement traceability matrix we make so that we may have to make sure that the de deliverables remain as is as compared to the baseline uh, baseline we set to compare the performance of a project performance of a project in sense of uh, cost in sense of time in sense of uh, time and uh, scope if we have to give the five modules so we have to make sure that after five months or four months we have to uh, give only five five developers 
like for example after five months this should not be happen like initially five uh, deliverables were there and after five months uh, six deliverables were there uh, so it is totally different to the baseline so uh, remain uh, just have to make sure that it help to ensure that the project scope requirements and deliverables remain as is when compared to the baseline the uh, normally requirement traceability matrix is called, called as rtm it track all requirements and whether or not they are being met by the current process and design it's it's used to track the requirements assist in the creation of the rfp project plan task deliverable documents and test scripts help ensure that all system requirements have been met during the verification process so friend this is just simply you can say an excel sheet and you have to make sure that as per the rfp as per the project plan as per the test script we have to make sure that these are the requirements and we have to deliver these requirements we have to deliver if 10 requirements were there so have to we have to deliver only the 10 requirement not more than 10 or not less than 10 are you getting my point so uh, if we talk about requirement traceability matrix which is in short term called as our team as well it is just have to make sure we have to be used just to make sure that we have to uh, document it somewhere in the excel sheet so we will make sure that these are the requirements which we have to deliver as per the scope baseline uh, let me give you a very simple example you just see this figure this diagram uh, it is uh, it has been made in the excel sheet so requirement traceability matrix basically look like this it is uh, you can say simply just excel sheet in which you document the uh, requirements as per the RFP as per the project plan as per the scope and you just define the deliverables so you can track that these are the deliverables which we have to deliver to the customer as per the scope baseline. line so you just make a uh, you just make a excel sheet for uh, your ease so you have to make sure that these are the deliverables which we must have to give to the customer so the this is only have to make sure and also it is also important that the verification process should also be uh, executed for all the deliverables that these are the requirements which have we have to give to the customer so it is it look like this this is the excel sheet you can just say the requirement traceability matrix it is a tool which is we which we make create uh, in the excel sheet and we uh, purpose of requirement traceability just see this different requirement traceability matter it is it is a tracking tool basically it is a tracking tool to make sure that the deliverables which are defined here will be mu will must have to be delivered to the customer now um, uh, the fields which are included in the requirement traceability matrix are the requirement number just uh, a unique number will be assigned to each requirement name that uh, it, it uh, we every requirement will have some name and the description of the requirement rfp number as per the rfp if we talk about request for proposal uh, everyone knows there's uh, knows that whenever a project sign normally in the government sector or in the private sector as well uh, rfp will be floated request for proposal this is called request for proposal so rfp number will also be mentioned here in the requirement traceability matrix so that means that r as per the rfp this is the number number means that uh, we will giving a reference to the reference number of rfp here so uh, for example if uh, rfp was uh, for example 2.2 requirement was mentioned in the rfp request for proposal so you will mention here as 2.2 in the requirement traceability matrix so we are giving here the uh, reference number of rfp request for proposal number then next is the ppt number ppt is basically project plan task so as per the project plan as per the project plan what is the number of this requirement so because this requirement will definitely mention in the project plan as well so as per the project plan this is the number of uh, uh, this is the number as per the project plan so as per the project plan ms project plan the uh, number uh, the reference number of this task this deliverable is that 
for example 42 52 etc so as per the ms project plan this is the reference number then test script uh, this uh, requirement will also be tested this deliverable will be tested so as per the test script this is the number of the requirement verification is uh, use this field to record completion of the sign up process we have to make sure that that this requirement after uh, delivering delivering to the customer this requirement have been signed off we have to make sure this is very very important so uh, friend uh, this is just a simple uh, example of requirement traceability matrix we have used we use this requirement traceability matrix to track the requirements to deliverable that as per the uh, RFP as per the project plan as per the scope these are the deliverable which we have to give to the customer and uh, we have to make sure that these requirements are signed off as well so uh, friend I hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and also I would request to please subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell option as well so thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all for my side thank you